Indonesian lower court on Monday delivered the capital punishment to former two-star police general Ferdi Sambo, the prime suspect in the country's top murder case of police brigadier Yosua Huta Barat, after a long legal process as reported by MGN's Teli Natalia. A series of trials linked to the country's top murder case of police brigadier Yosua Huta Barat. And on February 13th, the prime suspect in this case, former two-star general Ferdi Sambo, received that sentence from a panel of three judges at South Jakarta District Court. The verdict was higher than state prosecutors' demand for life of imprisonment that was read on January 17th. Mother of late Yosua and other relatives, as well as the family's legal attorneys, attended the final session at the lower court and thank judges for giving the capital punishment to Sambo. Ferdi Sambo was head of the Indonesian National Police Profession and Internal Security Division, and Yosua was one of his adjutants. Yosua was killed on July 8, 2022 in Jakarta at one of Sambo's houses at a police residential complex in South Jakarta. At the beginning, public was not aware about the case, until a journalist from Jambi, where Yosua came from, brought up the case in his publication based on Yosua's parents' social media status. Police then made a statement saying that Yosua was killed during an exchange of fire with his fellow adjutant, Richard Eliezer. But police versions of the killing was weird to public's ears. Then Yosua's family hired several lawyers whom spoke up about their suspicions that Yosua was murdered. That letter gained public support and led to President Joko Widodo's order to the National Police Chief General Listio Sigit Prabowo to transparently investigate the case. After a series of investigations that is directly monitored by Chief Security Minister Mahfoud MD, Investigators found that Yosua's death not because of an exchange of fire, but he was murdered, suspected by the order of Ferdi Sambo. Then, Sambo and four others, his wife Putri Chandrawati, other adjutants Richard Eliezer and Ricky Rizal, and the Sambo's family aide Kuat Ma'ruf, were declared as a suspect in a premeditated murder of Yosua Hutabarat. Sambo continued denied his involvement in the murder case, but admitted that Yosua has sexually harassed his wife Putri Chandrawati. Later investigators found the murder scene was clean and various evidences were destroyed by intention. These findings dragged other police officers to face disciplinary investigations along with Sambo. Some of them involved in obstruction of justice and must face police internal investigations and ethical disciplinary trials. Sambo letter was fired from police on September 20th. From further investigations and from cross-examinations, state prosecutors alleged Sambo planned the murder of Yosua and by using his authority had ordered his subordinate Richard Eliezer to shot Yosua. Eliezer becomes a justice collaborator in the case, and the trial of Sambo began on October 18, 2022, until he received that sentence on February 13th. Menyatakan terdakwa Ferdi Sambo S.A. S.I.K.M.H. telah terbukti secara sah dan meyakinkan bersalah melakukan tindak pidana, turut serta melakukan pembunuhan berencana dan tanpa hak melakukan tindakan yang berakibat Sistem elektronik tidak bekerja sebagaimana mestinya yang dilakukan secara bersama-sama. Menjatuhkan pidana kepada terdakwa tersebut oleh karena itu dengan pidana mati.